Welcome to this full demo of speech to note In this video, we will cover all of the things that you can do with Pro Plus plan of speech to note uh, On my way of showcasing you the entire capabilities, I'll also tell you about the limits uh, that are there for Pro users. But let's you know, dive straight into the overall demo. So this is what you get on the main landing page of speech to note.com whenever you arrive uh, and here you can always come and uh, you can start recording your thoughts uh, for one minute. This is free for all of the users. It doesn't require you to sign up or log in. Uh, once you sort of uh, stop the recording, you will get a free summary you know, here, uh, which you can sort of copy and keep it with yourself in any uh, simple note-taking application. Right? It takes a little while. It, it's on the slower side uh, because... Uh, it is the free version of the node, but uh, here uh, you can just view the task step. It will show you the summary, and that's all. And uh, for more free features, it will prompt you to like a sort of upgrade. You can uh, start a free trial of seven days at any given point in time, which will give you the access of Pro account. Uh, but let's start. Let's log in and let's see again what all capabilities you get once you log into a Pro platform. So here I am logging. Okay, now that I'm logged in, let's take a quick look at the interface. So right at the top, you have the capability to either record transcript or you can uh, tag along the note format, note format along with your recording uh, from get go. But most of the times I like to sort of record just my transcripts. Uh, you have the mic button, which will start the recording and right below it, you have the settings icon, uh, clicking on which will allow you to choose your microphone and it will allow you to choose the transcript language and the summary language. Right? In this case, since we are not uh, like not generating the summary on GetCo, so this won't be relevant for us, but in case if you are generating transcript plus note format, so this uh, will be relevant in those scenarios. Uh, when you sort of uh, sign up on a fresh account, you won't see the list of all the notes that are listed here, uh, but once you have start, start using it, you will see all of the notes listed here and then you can open up individual notes and uh, check all of the details, right? So let's let's start with a fresh note. So what, so yeah, here what I've done is like I've started with a fresh note and I'm uh, recording to the best of my capabilities to get the most out of whatever I can take speech to note. Uh, as soon as I, as I start the recording, I have this delete button to sort of like, you know, cancel this recording. I can pause at any point of time and I can click on that play icon to sort of resume my recording. Uh, I can sort of stop the recording at any given point of time. If I stop it, uh, it will sort of start generating the summary. So if I stop it, it will process my audio, transcribe my audio, and yeah, I have the transcription here. Uh, with the latest update of speech to note, I can also go ahead and add more transcripts to the thing note. So what I need to do is say add other transcript. It will tell me like, you know, I have 59 minutes, 28 seconds left. Since I want a blow plan, uh, the max amount of you know, recording I can accumulate with this uh, one note is up to 60 minutes. So uh, here's an additional recording that I'm trying to record within the same note. And here you can see it's the similar is pretty much similar to like another first time experience. It's just uh, gives you the feeling of recording within uh, the framework of an existing node. Uh, and here you can sort of figure uh, uh, out record. And once you're done with recording, you can just stop it and it will add another transcript to the same node. So it will do the similar amount of processing and then you will have. Uh, you know, the similar uh, kind of thing. So if you if you look closely, uh, uh, the transcription is very very accurate. But for example, since I am sitting in a very echo echoey room, it is it took note as note. So I can go ahead and make those changes at any given point of time. Uh, and once this is done, I can click on save changes. Uh, and yeah, and then. Let's say I want to create a summary out of this. So what I can do is add a format and I can just choose any of the given 
some leaks. Here, let's say I go with a simple text friend, right? I, we have a format card text, okay? So if I generate, so it, it will uh, generate a simple text. Hey, so I started with a fresh new note. Uh, I think I missed out on saving some of the changes, but yeah. Uh, and I'm recording everything to get max speech to note capture. There's this cool green button to stop uh, anytime. Plus I can pause and resume the play again. I can stop whenever I want. It'll spit out a summary. I'm also doing another recording in the same note. It feels uh, like the first time recording, but within an ex existing note, super easy, just record, stop, and it throws in another transcript, uh, kind of texting, kind of like texting. So it has taken like, you know, both of the transcripts into consideration and uh, generated a summary or, or generated a new note. Uh, if I don't want any of these transcripts to be used, so what I can do is I can simply uncheck one of them and then add other format. Let's, let's say I do a casual email this time. So if you look closely, uh, so it, you know, it says like I started recording with green, but I, I'm not sure like, you know, probably it took, uh, you know, the green button, right? So it actually was red, but maybe because of the echoey room, it took as green. But yeah, uh, I, I can make those corrections at any given point of time in the, uh, transcript or in the generated note as well. I can save my changes. Uh, once that is done, yeah, if you see, uh, the generated email is generated, like you know, is sort of generated based on this particular transcript only, and it is not taking like on this much this second transcript into consideration. So yeah, you can keep on adding as many transcripts as you want, and you can keep on adding from multiple formats that we have. So we have plethora of formats for social media, for educational purposes, for content creation, uh, for professional writing. Whether we have formats like medical, technical, journalist, legal. And then uh, there are also something called as custom formats. So these are my formats or nothing but custom formats that I have created as a pro class user. Uh, then there are uh, personal and casual formats. There are creative writing formats. Uh, and then we also have uh, organizational formats. So for example, I can click on add format and maybe they can, I can choose something like a to-do list. Uh, there was nothing in this particular note to sort of make a to-do list talk of it, but yeah, it, it has done best of its efforts and created a to-do list out of uh, the first transcript itself, right? So yeah, uh, that's what you can do with speech to note in and out with, with the basic set of features. But you also have an ability, for example, to collapse all of these notes and just focus on the one in which you would like to edit. Similarly with the transcripts, you can hide one transcript at a time, or you can hide all the transcripts in one go. Right. Uh, then you also have the functionality to add tags. So, for example, I can add a tag called demo. This will create a new tag. Okay. And I can just put in this tag on the fly. Maybe I can apply some colors, uh, rename it. Uh, I'll just keep it demo for now. Uh, so, it say it already exists. So, that's why I did to that change, but I can also delete this tag completely from the system, right? So yeah, uh, I've added this tag, maybe I, I can add another tag on the speech node, and uh, it has been successfully tagged on this particular topic. Now uh, I can make some edits to the title, I can save the changes, and the changes are saved successfully. Here I can download the note, which will allow me to either print it, or if I want to download the audience inside multiple transcripts, I can download audio of the specific ones. So here I can come to the transcripts and I can download audio and it will automatically download the uh, audio the OGG for, for, for file format. And the OGG is the open graph uh, sort of uh, audio format, which is pretty, uh, it, this sort of plays inside any particular browser as well. Right. So this is done. Now, if I click on it, okay. Now, if I come back uh, and if I go to the settings area, settings area, here you will 
have the flexibility to sort of uh, mark your favorite formats as well. So here, let's say I have n number of formats and I can mark uh, some of the formats as my favorite or I can unmark some of the formats that are that I marked them as favorite, like favorites as earlier on. I can save those settings. Here I also see uh, all of the tags that I've created so far in my speech to note account. And uh, you can also have a uh, like a one simple view to look at all of the tags that you've created. There's no limit of the number of tags that you can create. Uh, then uh, we have the custom format feature. So for example, I'll show you this uh, custom format here. You need to sort of add an icon. You need to add the name of the format. You need to add the instructions. So this is where you add the instructions, like what uh, this custom format needs to do with the transcript, right? Every time you add a new format or do your existing one. And then you need to sort of uh, add a sp small info, which so which is sort of visible on that info icon right next to the format. Right? So uh, for example, I, I took, I created this format whenever I was trying to fill forms, right? Uh, so there are a lot of forms that we need to fill. I created this custom format for myself so that it understands uh, the transcripts. Uh, it, it understands all the questions and answers from the transcripts and, and gives me form back in Twitter. So a best example of this would be uh, like one of the recent forms that I did. Right? Right. Um, By the way, you know, I'll also introduce the filter on charity with you. So for example, here I have filters. If I look for form, I see this like, you know, quick filter applied. I can go inside this particular form. So here I, in the transcript section, I just, I was just iterating whatever the questions were in that particular form. And I was giving answers to each of those questions. But what I did is after I was done, I added a format and I used uh, this custom format that I made uh, called as form data. And I generated uh, this out of it, which made it super easy for me to fill that form. All I had to do is like you know, copy the answers, which speech to note has generated for me and paste it back there in those subsequent forms. So this is uh, like, you know, it's one of the examples what you can do with custom formats, but you can do much more uh, with custom formats and create your own custom formats. As of now, we allow this feature only to our Pro Plus customers uh, and they can create up to 50, 50 custom formats, but we will be sort of like, you know, uh, creating uh, like you know, much more better variations of what custom format is today uh, in, in the near future as well. Uh, apart from that, if you go inside the settings, uh, I, we have a functionality for webhooks. I don't use this personally, but but there are a lot of users who use the webhooks functionality uh, to sort of pass the data generated, pass the data generated from uh, speech to node to services like Zapier or active pieces. So you can just uh, name those services and uh, pass on their web URLs. And uh, once that is done, what you can do is come back to the particular node. You can select webhooks and then you can set, choose like you know, what sort of data points you want to send to that particular webhook. And if added certain uh, webhooks in your account, you would be able to select them uh, from this list. And then you would also be able to select whether you want to pass on JSON data or on data, depending on on the service that you are using, this will vary uh, in certain scenarios. These are for you know extremely pro users who uh, uh, want to use these sort of functionalities, but but have those available in our speech to note pro plus account. In the billing section, you can see like you know uh, what plan we are. So we were running an early adopter plan, so I am on that. But in the current iteration, uh, you will have. Uh, sort of unlimited recording within the ecosystem of speech to word. But if you want to sort of upload external audio, you will you will see upload audio credits here instead of number audio credits. And finally, in the account section, as a pro user, you would be able to uh, sort of log logged into like you know, two simultaneous two devices. So you you can have two uh, sessions on by. Uh, you can have like two, you can stay logged into two into two sessions at any given point of time. Uh, and as a pro plus users, 
So plus user, you will be able to stay logged in four sessions at any given point of time. You can happily log out of all sessions. Or you can choose the device of which you want to sort of log out. So for example, if I don't want to stay in the Safari, I can log it out. Uh, it will load for, for some time. And if I refresh, uh, it will show me like that Safari has been logged out at only this, this particular Google Chrome uh, thing. Uh, Google Chrome version is locked in. My Android Google Chrome is locked, right? So currently, as of now, we only have a progressive web app. We don't have a native application from which you can download from uh, Apple App Store or Google Play Store. But we will be releasing those soon, or like in a month or a two months time from now. And uh, uh, all the Pro Plus members will have the benefit of using the iOS app as well. Uh, our plans might change. Uh, currently, we are not planning to support this for Pro users, but we are definitely planning to uh, give the extended support of native application to Pro Plus users as well. So yeah, uh, that's all. If you are the user of Speech you can join our community on Telegram. Uh, this is the place where we gather a lot of feedback from all our we also capture a lot of feedback by email, but this is the place where we gather a lot of feedback from the users and uh, we sort of do a lot of iterations based on those feedback. And yeah, uh, this is how you can sort of enjoy the entire speech module. You will, have, you will have the functionality to search, uh, you will have the functionality to filter as per tags or formats, uh, and you can do, you know, this 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 can be your hub to. Uh, Sort of like you know, put out all of your ideas that are coming out of your head, and and in some of the scenarios, people are also using this as a meeting tool or as an in-person meeting. Tool. So this can be a great uh, tool for in-person meetings as well. So yeah, let me know your thoughts about speech note in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this particular uh, tool from an overall update perspective. You can watch our previous demo which we uploaded in the month of May 2024. Since then, we have made a lot of progress and we will keep making these demo videos as we keep making progress in future as well. But yeah, for the time being, that's all from my end. Cheers. This is Abhishek Santa from speechtonot.com. Bye-bye.